Hey, it's Pete with GCI Turf, and you know we've been doing this uh, sprayer calibration series, and I got a question a guy sent in, Lush Lawns, I think is the guy that asked this, and uh, he was having trouble understanding something, so I'm, 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 I'm going to read the question, I'm going to answer the question, uh, and give you my opinion on it, and then I'm going to give you a physical example of this question, maybe it would help him understand that. All right, the question is, I'm having a tough time wrapping my head <clears throat> around when a product calls for X number of ounces per 1,000 square foot with a 2-gallon per 1,000 carrier total with a skid sprayer. Now, you remember back in video number 1 or 2 or something, we I showed you what, a, what he's calling a skid sprayer. It's a big commercial spray unit that goes on a truck with a hose big gal big tanks lots holds lots of gallon typically you spray at a, a higher carrier volume like a two gallon per 1000 so that's what he's talking about but when the same product can be applied with a low volume sprayer like a permagreen and still achieve the same number of ounces per thousand with a much lower carrier amount so what, what I think he's asking, to try to simplify that question a little bit, is, you, is, is he's asking about the carrier, and the carrier being water. And remember, you have so many different ways to calibrate a sprayer. Um, this sprayer may only calibrate it this much carrier per thousand. This one may calibrate it more carrier per thousand. I mean, it's just that, that there's so many sprayer options. And to answer that question, that's up to you, man. You decide the carrier volume you want to spray at. Nobody's going to twist your arm and make you spray at two gallon a thousand or one gallon a thousand or a quart. Take the permagreen, for example, like you had in your question. The permagreen will only spray at a quart per thousand. You can't make it spray more than that. It comes pre-calibrated from the factory or very close to being pre-calibrated from the factory. Now, I do recommend you check that. I've checked both of ours. They're both spot on. And, and what I mean by that is that pump that's on that machine and that spray nozzle that sticks out the front of it will only produce a certain volume. And, and they have the speed and the height and the width and all set up so that it produces a quart per thousand. That, that's one of the things that make, those, that make them so easy to operate. There's, it takes all the guesswork out of it. Now, with a skid type, type sprayer or uh, what you're talking about, the one that goes on the truck, it would be incredibly difficult for you to apply a quart per thousand using that equipment that you have. It, it would be near impossible. I would say you could probably might could get it to a half a gallon per thousand, maybe. Honestly, I think a gallon per thousand on a skid sprayer is going to be all that you're going to be able to, that's as low as you're going to be able to get that thing without uh, being super tedious. Just because the permagreen fixed width, fixed height, fixed pump pressure, fixed speed, you can't change any of that. There's so many variables when you're walking and spraying. That's why that two gallon per thousand is a popular uh, rate for a skid sprayer is because it has a little bit of forgiveness there. If you put a little extra in this corner and a little extra in that corner, it's not going to make a real hill of beans difference. Okay, so to explain, hope that answered your question. Uh, that's, and again, that's totally and completely up to you, the volume you want to spray at or the, the carrier rate you want to spray at the gallon per thousand quart per thousand man you get to decide that that's the cool thing about all this <laughs> now here's an example okay this is a quart of water 32 ounces this is a gallon of water 128 and this is two gallon of water uh 256 ounces so th this is going to represent a permagreen this is going to represent a, let's call it a, an electric skid sprayer with an electric pump where it, it can't produce the same amount of pressure, say a big gasoline driven pump can. 
and we'll call that a, a an electric skid sprayer. And th let's call this a Pete's truck, Pete's spray truck. And so we, we put this is a two gallon carrier. Now I've got the same amount of product, two ounces, two ounces, two ounces of RGS. Uh, we sell the biostimulant uh, on our website uh, GCITurfacademy.com. It's available to anyone. Uh, great stuff here. And for the example, I chose this because it's black in color, so you can see. So I've got th my 32 ounces of carrier. All right, we know we're spraying at a quart per thousand. Now, if I'm going to add this two ounces to this product, I need to get rid of two ounces of water, right? Where's my measuring cup here? All right, now I'm at 32 ounces. And now I can add my product. And when I add that two ounces, I get back up to my 32 ounces. The reason I do that is I don't just add the two ounces to the 32. Because if I do that, I just turn that 32 ounces into 34 ounces. And my machine is calibrated for 32 ounces per thousand, not 34 per thousand. All right. Same thing with the gallon. I've got to get rid of two ounces out of the gallon. That's about one and a half. All right. There's your two ounces. We'll get rid of that. And then we can add our two ounces of our product like so. Same thing applies to the uh, to the two gallon rate peat spray truck. Get rid of that two ounces. All right, so we're getting rid of that carrier and then we're gonna put, put our two ounces in. So now we have got the exact same two ounces in here, in here, and in here. They're all absolutely identical. You just saw me pour them in. I've still got my 32 ounces here, my carrier, 32 ounces carrier, my permagreen. I've still got my electric skid sprayer. It, it's calibrated at a gallon. So I'm at a gallon of, these are both finished solution. And then I'm also at a ga uh, uh, two gallon per thousand with Pete's spray truck over here. But I've still got my, my, my not my carrier, I've still got my product in there. So this, these are all finished solution, ready to go out. So now let me, let, me, let me take this example a step further and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so see this area of grass right here. We're going to pretend that's 1,000 square feet. Where I'm going to take these jugs and I'm going to throw them out here. And, and that, that product's going to fly through the air and hit the grass. And wherever it lands, we're going to pretend that's 1,000 square feet. Okay, I know it's not 1,000 square feet. I, I get that. But for example's sake only, we're going to pretend it. So I'm riding along in my permagreen and I start spraying. And there we go. I just put out two ounces of RGS on a thousand square feet of turf using a 32 ounce calibration rate. All right. Now I pull up with my electric skid sprayer. Remember, we still got our thousand square feet here okay now i've got my tar heel shoes on and i just come back from chapel hill and i'm still in celebration mode so if i get this stuff on my shoes i'm coming to find you lush lawn all right here we go look at there we just sprayed another thousand square feet of turf and when we did it we put that exact same two ounces on that thousand square foot the only difference is we used a gallon per thousand was our finished solution. We, we, it was more water mixed in with the RGS, but the RGS still got applied over the same area. All right, here we go. Pete's in his spray truck. Oh, Lord. I'm telling you, I don't know where you live, but I will drive to you. Now we're in Pete's spray truck, two gallon per thousand, the same thousand square feet. Ah, there we go. All right. I did good. I ain't getting on my shoes. I got. I do have a shoe fetish for those of you who don't know, um, and they're all blue, light blue. Um, 
Okay, so now we just took the same two ounces of product and we put it over the same 1,000 square foot for the example. Obviously, you would put that two ounces over, uh, two ounces this square, this 1,000 square foot, then two more ounces on this square 1,000 square foot, two more on this one. You get the point. The only thing it changed was we used a different carrier volume, meaning we used more water to actually carry that two ounces and put it out over a thousand square feet. We're talking about the permagreen example in a quart per thousand. Well, this, I know you know what Z spray is, LT Rich. They're a, a real popular brand sprayer. Uh, we love them, they're awesome. Uh, this, this, let's call this guy, uh, let's call this guy Lush Long. I don't know what you use, man, but let's just say this is you. And uh, here you are standing on the back of the machine. Here's the tires, the ground, and here's your two. 30 gallon spray tanks, right? 60 gallon total. Now, I think. Mile, turn left onto the US 220 South Ramp. Now, I think these things come pre calibrated from the factory at one gallon per thousand square feet. I may be wrong, but for this example, I'm going to use that number. So that means if you have two 30 gallon tanks, you can cover 60,000 square feet total right all right well let's say you have a product that requires that you put down a half a gallon per 1,000 square feet so you need to figure out how much of that goes into that 60,000 well a half a gallon per thousand square feet if you have a 60 gallon tank you or you can cover 60,000 square feet um, you're gonna need 30 gallon right 30 gallons of total product to put in this sprayer so that when you get done finish spraying this 60,000 square foot, you have effectively applied that 30 gallons. Well, you can't take 30 gallons and add it in here if these things are full of water because that becomes 90 gallons. So you have to get rid of half the water in each of these tanks and put 15 gallon here and then you put 15 gallon here right so there's your in this tank now i've got 15 plus 15 is 30 there's your 30 gallons of the product and then your carrier here is also 30 gallon when you put all that together you got 60 gallons of finished solution i hope this helps check you later